trademarks. You have to have a name. You know, a lot of people, maybe close to half of the people who come to us to franchise their business have some sort of issue with their name. And so I want to talk a little bit about trademarks. And we, we evaluate that as someone coming in and, you know, we'll talk about their name. One thing that a lot of business owners do is they create a descriptive name. They say, hey, I'm the shoemaker, because in the beginning, no one knows who they are. So they want to create a business so for instant recognition of what their what their product is so that the local market understands, hey, if I want to go to Tom the Shoemaker, I see the sign on the door says Shoemaker, let me go there. From a trademark standpoint and ultimately a franchising standpoint, that's a mistake. First of all, you're going to struggle to get the name. And people will ask their trademark attorneys or ask me, can I get the trademark? That is only half of the evaluation. Can you get the trademark? You know, can you say, well, I know it's descriptive, but we won't do this. We won't do this. Trademarks are counterintuitive. It's not just about can you use the name? It's can you exclude others from using the name? I'm going to run that back one more time. Getting a good trademark is not only your ability to use that name with your clients and build your brand equity, it's your ability to exclude anyone else from using that name. So now you think of big brands, big trademarks, Nike, Disney, you know, all of these names, some of these names out there that, that are unique, that don't describe it. Think even Apple, Apple Computers. Apple has nothing to do with computers, therefore they can exclude others. The best names are these made up names. You know, you watch uh, TV and you see all these, you know, crazy uh, drug company names that you're like, why would they come up with these goofy names? One of the main reasons is a completely made up name is your strongest trademark. The second trademark is going to be a name that doesn't mean what it says. So the further you get away from the description of your business and the trademark, the stronger your trademark is, which is counterintuitive. If you have a business that has a reasonably generic name and there may be others who came up with that same name throughout the country. And so your goal here, remember, go back. We're not trying to double or triple the income. We're going for a 50, 100x generational wealth. This is a decade play. We're looking for clients that want to be with us for a decade, for a long time. Build the infrastructure. Get this thing started. And if you want to have that, you know, we're looking around corners. We're thinking deep into the process. And the trademark is something that is critical to that. Um, so that's your trademark. You got to spend some time on it. You know, it's it might cost you a little bit of money. And it's not just about having your name. It's about excluding others from having your name.